She feels like not waking up She feels like she's in so deep That she'll never make it out All the mistakes that she made she just thinks about Probably the reason that she ain't been Hello guys, it is Dream VFX here And today, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial Y'all have wanted for a long time <clears throat> And that is my color correction tutorial so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing this color correction I have used on this edit and I use on most of my edits unless I try to change it up a little bit. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing y'all, I'm not going to be doing step by step, but I'm going to show y'all the settings to every single thing on, <clears throat> on the color correction. Uh, this tutorial is a little late. I usually do them on Fridays, but I haven't been feeling well for the past two days, but I feel a little bit better. But my throat is starting to congest up. So I'm going to go get some water and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I feel better. So now, uh, I'm just this is my edit I've been working on. And I have posted it on my YouTube channel. But I haven't posted it yet on uh, Instagram. But I might have when this goes up. Maybe. But I'm going to play this edit for you all real quick. If it will play. Let's hope for the best and let's try to play it. Do you want to play or not? Nope, it just wants to render, I think. Nope. Oh. Let's go to start it. Okay, seriously, don't crash. Okay, so that was the edit. That was in 60 FPS, though, because uh, it looks cool in 60 FPS. But I don't want to upload it on Instagram at 60 FPS, so I rendered it twice. One at 60 and one at 30. Uh, the 60 FPS one is going up on YouTube. Uh, so yeah. So let's get started with this. So you need Magic Bullet looks number one for this. And this is the settings I have right now for... If it pulls up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's wait. Come on. So now it has loaded up. This is what it looks like now. This is everything I have, but there's more that comes with this color correction. Uh, if I can figure it out, why is somebody calling me? Okay, so I had to take that call for a little bit. It was nothing important. It was literally this person asking for something. I was like, bye. Okay, so now we're going to do this. So this is everything that uh, I have right now, but there's more that comes with this color correction. So if I go here, it'll go to the default settings. But this is when I saved it because I tweaked some things. And then I saved it again. So this, the original uh, colors for this are white. Uh, so you go here to white, and then set for spot exposure to be white. So this is everything you'll need. Uh, you don't need everything like this, for example. I just have this here uh, because it really doesn't really make a difference. Like say if we delete it, it really doesn't make a difference. Wait, it did delete it. Okay, it really doesn't make a difference here. Like say, what, why are you deleting? Like say if I just put it back, it doesn't make no di any difference to that. So I really don't need that saturation to it. But so here we have the first thing we have pop, and this is gonna be 100 on both. And then grad exposure here are your settings. Pay attention to the X1, X2, Y1, Y2, and fall off. Um, they're not that important, but they can be kind of important to like make it be exact but you don't have to and then same for spot exposure uh, you're gonna focus on the radius aspect spread off the spread and fall off and then the X and Y and then it stops you're gonna have 0.2 diffusion this is kind of where it's on you so what I do I change the diffusion settings all the time I usually change it to a different color and I change the size and the grade of it the grade is kind of making it brighter or not as bright and then the size is either making it spread out the whole to the whole screen or focus it on the object on the screen is what you're going to do. So say I make that 1.5, it will go like that and it will be a spread and save for here. If I do that, it will just focus on to the things on the screen. So I'm going to go like this back to where it kind of was. Let's say I want to change it to the blue again. Go here, change this to the blue and then make the size a little bit like that. And that's kind of what we had earlier, but I just cha I deleted the pop and ex one of the exposures. So you're gonna have this settings on this. It really doesn't matter. You can just mess with them a lot. Same with the spot exposure. You can just mess with that. Uh, I wouldn't mess with this stuff a lot. Just the uh, sometimes the stops you can mess with, and then the color. 
Uh, next we have this bleach bypass here. Uh, here the settings for it, and then another one right here. And this lift gamma gain, it came when I got this color correction because my friend gave me this color correction, but it was totally different. And I have changed a lot of things by a lot of things. I mean, like three things, and I deleted some stuff uh, and changed some of the settings. Um, but the original file, if I can figure out how to do the download thing, I think I said this already, it will be down in the description. And hopefully, you guys can get that then. Um, next, so this is the settings for this. This lift gamma gain, I really don't know how it got here, and I really don't know how to do it because I'm not that good with magic bullet looks, but I'm getting better with it. So if I can find a tutorial with this lift gamma gain on YouTube, I'll put the link in the description so y'all can watch that. And I think I forgot the light flex. So this light flex here is have this boost and exposure, and then this white, this white, and then you can just go ahead and do that. Okay, so I think that's it here. But like, say if I press cancel, it'll look like this, and then you can see what I deleted here. See, I don't have the one of the exposures and then the one right, the pop I don't have the pop and I think that the and the yeah that's it so that's what I have right now I'll put the original one I got from my friend actually I'll put this one uh, what is it this one right here in the description below and if I can figure it out and if I can't I'm sorry but I try so if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you are if you have any questions. Uh, tutorials, the schedule might be a little different for the next couple weeks because I'm going on vacation. I don't know if I'll be able to make tutorials there. Uh, I might not have the time to because I'll be doing stuff and who knows what. Uh, and then Christmas coming up, I'll probably take a little break. And then, but next week, I'll have a tutorial this coming week. And yeah. So this is Dream VFX 